John Horgan just called an election. On October 24th, BC is going to the polls, in the middle of a pandemic. The last time we held an election during a state of emergency was World War II. As voting day approaches, you're going to see the three main parties not only debate the big issues facing British Columbians, but also why the election was called in the first place. Here's BC's pandemic election in less than four minutes. We're not used to having snap elections in BC. Voting dates have been fixed since 2001. The next one on the schedule was October 2021, but John Horgan decided to call it a year early. He says it's because we're only half a year into a long pandemic and multi-year recovery effort. He wants to renew his mandate now to ensure consistency in BC's response. But critics aren't buying Horgan's explanation. They say that there has been cooperation between the parties in response to COVID, and the election is just a power grab. The NDP are up in the polls, and they think they can win. As of the end of the summer, Horgan was the most popular premier in Canada. An early September poll gave the NDP a 19-point lead over the Liberals. These numbers are so good that 338 Canada, a project that models elections from polling and other data, gave the NDP a 99% chance of winning the most seats. But calling an election during a pandemic could have public backlash, and polls have been wrong before. In 2013, Adrian Dix, who you now know from Dr. Bonnie Henry's briefings, led the NDP into an election with such a strong lead over Christy Clark's liberals that the province ran this cover. Coincidentally, a month before that election, a poll also gave the NDP a 19-point lead over the liberals. To wide surprise, Dix lost, badly. He resigned as leader, and John Horgan stepped into his shoes. Our last election in 2017 was unusual in a different way. It was incredibly close. The Liberals actually won the most seats, but the NDP struck a deal with Andrew Weaver and the Green Party, who were willing to support them in forming government. This deal is called the Confidence and Supply Agreement, or CASA. It's how John Horgan became Premier. Since then, the other parties have both elected new leaders, Andrew Wilkinson for the Liberals and Sonia Furstenau for the Greens. That brings us to today, with the NDP calling an early election. But CASA, the agreement that formed the NDP government in the first place, contains a key detail. No calling an early election unless the government is defeated in the legislature. So the Greens view Horgan's decision to do it anyway as a broken promise. Despite the NDP's strong initial lead, there's no telling what will happen. But BC's COVID response led by Dr. Bonnie Henry will continue regardless. New Brunswick already showed us a pandemic election is possible. They had one in mid-September, with voter turnout not much lower than usual. Many British Columbians have already requested mail-in ballots from Elections BC, and you can too. Just go to elections.bc.ca. That could mean the final results take a bit longer than normal to come in, but it's one way to stay safe during a pandemic. You can also vote in advance at a polling station to avoid a potentially busy election day. One thing is for sure though, this will be a campaign like no other.